It was at this ground last season when Leicester scored a goal, I think it was against Norwich City, and it started a minor earthquake, and that is a true story. Uh, you will have seen from the exhibition down towards the end of the hall, um, the artwork, the entries, the creative writing pieces this year, I mean they've all come with a fantastic positive message all against racism. I don't have an artistic bone in my body, so the standard of the artwork is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, and the power of the written work is phenomenal. We have hope when the, you know, future generations are coming through as they are. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, uh, the board, 20 years of the organisation has done so much fantastic work. I think we would all recognise how far we've come. Um, how far we still feel there is to go. You know, we're not. Um, it's a, um, an area that we've still got to make more steps forward. Um, but the beauty of football is it can be a vehicle. So at times it shows the worst uh, in, in um, some of the incidents we've seen yeah. uh, of prejudice. But also, you know, every dressing room I played in, um, it was a unique mix of nationalities, religions. Um, and we were just teammates, nothing else, and um, that was all that mattered. So the, the power to to, um, uh, to do good and to change the way that people think is it does does rest within us. The awareness that um, show racism red card brings to um, this battle is, is crucially important. You know? um, we have to keep talking, we have to keep communicating uh, about the issues. Uh, but we're not there. So, you know, uh, until we live in a world where everybody's prepared to sit side by side and um, help each other and um, treat each other equally across uh, all professions and all walks of life, then, um, then we have to keep on fighting the fight. We are all the same, so why give one race all the blame? Jewish, Christian, Muslim, we all have beliefs, so why give one religion all this grief? The virus racism has corrupted our minds. It's infected people everywhere and is killing mankind. It gives people inhumane reasons to think they're superior, to bully others and make them feel inferior. It causes chaos, destruction and brutal discrimination towards religion and race all over the nation. No one is born with a heart full of hate, so racism is a virus that humans create. Children are taught to emulate what they see, which is why we must teach them that love is what's key. We urge people everywhere to take the vaccination that will eliminate racism from our generation, that will release those subdued in racial captivity and make empathy the universal activity. The cure to kill the virus and save our community is love, equality and worldwide unity. Some like Donald try to trump other races. It's this kind of injustice the vaccine erases. The task to eradicate racism will surely be hard. Together, let's unite and cure racism on the red card. The cure is spreading and growing fast, so come and get your vaccination. Please don't be the last. I think given the current world climate we have, um, we need more and more there's a rise of race hate uh, crime and we need uh, more young people involved in the campaign and um, hopefully today's been the beginnings of, of again a, a fantastic effort on behalf of young people to fight racism and show racism on the record. <laughs>